Hi everyone! Since childhood, everyone around you kept reminding you that without pain, there is no gain. In other words, you can't simply become a millionaire only because you want to. Being successful means continuous struggle with your own self, overcoming circumstances, and having sleepless nights. But life is unpredictable, and sometimes people get immensely rich by pure accident. For example, while digging through the garbage. Do not believe us? Today, we'll tell you several stories about people who have become rich thanks to things nobody needed. Let's get it on! Lottery Ticket the Zagami family was on the verge of a real financial crisis. In a very short period, they had to spend a fortune on a wedding and a funeral. The fact that they needed to take care of their newborn grandson only made matters worse. In short, at some point, this couple from Massachusetts had decided to try their luck at the casino, but with no success. And then they remembered that something very important was lying in the trash, something that could change their life once and for all. Turned out that a couple of days earlier, Joanna bought several cheap lottery tickets at the supermarket checkout, just out of habit, and then accidentally tossed them into the trash. Her husband Joe, however, decided to try his luck. He found the unused tickets at the bottom of the trash can, grabbed a coin to scratch them off, and could not believe his eyes. On the ticket he held in his hands, it was written in black and white, one million dollar jackpot. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> The funny thing is that in those days, the Zagami family was supposed to be on vacation. They canceled their plans at the very last moment because of a broken refrigerator. Well, now they finally can afford a new one. The lump sum amount they got after taxes was $455,000, but still, that's quite a lot of money. Musical Instrument we honestly do not know why the hero of this story decided to search the garbage bins along the road, but he clearly knew what he was doing. Among the piles of trash, the man dug up a violin tossed away by someone. It turned out to be a real antique music instrument. The violin was found in one of the dumps of the city of San Antonio, Texas. The man who found it decided to take it to Peter Shaw, a dealer in art. It turned out that the instrument was made in 1922 by the master Giuseppe Pedorazzini. He was an Italian violinist and one of the best manufacturers of exquisite musical instruments in the 20th century. The art dealer paid a thousand dollars for the find. This deal, of course, wasn't fair. After cleaning the instrument from dirt and some restoration, Shaw sold the violin at auction for $35,000. Jackpot in TV have you ever wondered where all your old gadgets and household appliances end up? To begin with, garbage bins and landfills are not the right place for them. Throwing out TVs, phones, and computers is not only bad for the environment, but also not entirely legal. In fact, in most countries of the world, there are special recycling centers that accept old gadgets for free, and sometimes also pay money for it. This story happened in a similar center, at a recycling plant in the Canadian town of Barrie. Local workers say they sometimes find $1 bills in old TVs, but one employee was particularly lucky. When she was dismantling a huge old TV from the 80s, she found several bundles of dollar bills in it. Their total value was $100,000. And then the most interesting thing happened. Of course, we would like to think that a lucky worker quit her job to live in a bungalow in Hawaii, but things worked out differently. According to the legislation, the money had to be delivered to the police officers, who, in turn, traced the history of their movement by analyzing the serial numbers of banknotes. They have to do it to make sure that they are not stolen and then contact their previous owner. Turned out that the bills belonged to a man who inherited them 30 years ago and decided to save them for a rainy day. Apparently, this day never came, because at some point, the man gave his TV to his friend with all the bills stored inside, forgetting about the stash. And just a year later, his friend tossed the TV away. In the end, the money was returned to its rightful owner, and he, it seems, did not even share at least a small part with the girl who found it. Apparently, he forgot about that, too. A Million Dollar Painting some people are saving money for decades to buy a painting of a talented artist, but for many, it seems, art is not so sacred at all. <laughs> for example, this painting by Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo, three characters, was found in 2003 by an ordinary New Yorker in a trash can. How did this happen? That day, a woman named Elizabeth Gibson was walking along the streets of Manhattan when she suddenly noticed a huge canvas with some kind of abstract image in the trash. So what, you might ask? 
How did she understand that this was not just some amateur's work, but a real piece of art? In fact, as Elizabeth says, she knows absolutely nothing about art. But at that moment, something told her it was a valuable painting. It took her some time to identify the painting. In the next few years, the woman tried to find out whether it really had any value. Almost desperate, one day she accidentally stumbled upon the news of the disappeared painting that looked exactly like the one she found. 17 years after the masterpiece was created, it was stolen from the house of the family that bought it. In 2007, it was sold at an auction to an unknown buyer for more than a million dollars, and Elizabeth received $15,000 as a reward. Treasure in the Tire Here's another story about extraordinary luck. Once, three workers from the American state of Indiana were cleaning trash along the road and stumbled upon an abandoned car tire. Inside the tire, they found $100,000. Of course, they had to give the money to the police. Although the temptation to keep it was probably high, police officers said the money could be linked to the traffic of drugs. A police dog could smell them on the bills. Maybe Walter Wyatt and Jesse Pinkman had something to do with it? Dumpster diving. This guy, apparently, has watched videos similar to ours and decided to become a professional dumpster diver. Matt Malone lives in Texas and earns money by reselling items found in waste bins. He claims he makes about $100,000 a year. Believe us, you can't even imagine how many valuable things people toss away in the trash. Computer speakers, drills, LED lamps, bank terminals, and all this stuff is in perfect condition. Matt inspects and checks each of the items he finds and resells them on well-known internet platforms. But the real sweet spot is in garbage cans near various stores. According to some estimates, some retailers annually throw out goods worth $50 billion. So Matt, in a certain sense, not only earns money, but also gives discarded stuff a second life. America's Cup Trophy a flea market is not only a place where you can find good clothes for a very reasonable price, sometimes you can find a real treasure in such places. Billy Vigin from Johnston in Providence, Rhode Island, once bought a replica of the 1938 America's Cup at a flea market. This competition is one of the most famous and prestigious regattas in the world, which has been held for almost 200 years. Billy simply liked the way the jug-shaped trophy looked. Besides, it was a perfect fit for the interior of the library in Billy's house. He paid $20 for it, but later discovered something incredible. It turned out that the trophy could in fact be one of the few official copies of the cup, worth more than $30,000. And a professional art appraiser from Rhode Island, Steve Fusco, has confirmed that the cup is indeed authentic. You might think that Billy immediately put it on auction to earn a couple of tens of thousands of dollars. Oddly enough, he refused to sell the cup. So far, the lucky man just wants to keep it, although he says he might sell the trophy in the future. However, there's no reason to worry. Over time, antiques usually only increase in value. Abstract Painting what do most people think of modern art? Many will surely recall some paintings with strange spots of colored paint that the artist randomly puts on the canvas. Oh yeah! Some consider this a revolutionary technique, and some call it nonsense. An American artist, Jackson Pollock, is considered one of the founders of this art style. His paintings always spark controversy in the community of art lovers and sell for many millions of dollars. Now imagine the shock of an art appraiser who found one of these paintings in one of the ordinary garages in Arizona. The owner of the garage, who wished to remain anonymous, inherited the painting from his sister. Turned out a woman named Jennifer Gordon was in close touch with the art and gallery circles, which confirmed the painting was authentic. According to preliminary estimates, it costs at least $15 million. Card Collection You may remember that in the 90s, Panini stickers and booster packs with images of famous football players and hockey players were very popular. <laughs> People exchanged and bought them in retail stores, albeit at modest prices. Today, such cards are almost never issued, which means that their price in the collector's market has skyrocketed. One stalker from Detroit found this out from his personal experience. When exploring abandoned city objects, he found a huge collection of top sports cards from the 80s and 90s in the warehouse of one of the factories. Some cards were in boxes, while others were simply scattered across the floor. After his discovery, he decided to visit the factory from time to time to get a new batch of cards. According to him, this ensured his financial well-being. Hmm. When people learned about the abandoned collection, it turned out that its cost was no less than one million dollars. The identity of the owner of the cards was not established, but apparently, he was a real fan of sports. <laughs> <laughs>